I recently started dating somebody. Uh, yeah, and thank you for the two people who care. Okay. Um, and the way we met was because I was, we, we were, I, I was wasted. Um, and uh, I was standing in, in the middle of the dance floor at this bar, and I noticed this dude checking me out, and I could tell that he was a Jew, right? Now, how could I tell, right? Like, he wasn't, you know, wearing a yarmulke or spinning a dreidel the way Jews always do. You know, like, he didn't have a bagel face, he wasn't trying to sell me property. Um, but there was just something about him, just a look in his eyes that just sort of said, I don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Oi, right? Just like that. Look in his eye. You guys have seen it. It's like a Jesus with a line through it. Okay. And so I did what any good Muslim girl would do, and I let him grind up on me right here. And so we're on the dance floor, we're dancing, and then at a certain point, the lights turn on, signaling the closure of the bar, right? Now this is always an awkward moment, because you have to decide whether or not you're gonna make out with this dude despite knowing exactly what he looks like. So I asked myself, W-W-A-R-C-O-A-D. What would Arafat and Rabin do circa the 1993 Oslo Accords? <laughs> right? Common self-inquiry. And so we ended up making out like a couple of peace-loving diplomats. Uh, and now, you know, every night in the boudoir, you know, uh, with every uh, sweaty embrace, I feel like we're getting that much closer to peace in the Middle East. I really do. Um, thank you. It's, uh... It's called the two genital solution. Um, so that's what I'm doing for peace in the Middle East. The question is, what the fuck are you guys doing? Start boning, you guys. My name is Nagin Farzad.